The next workshop uh, this Sunday is about the transfiguration of Jesus. And the gospel is documented in Mark chapter 9, verses 2 to 10. And you can also find this gospel described by Matthew chapter 17, 1 to 13, and in Luke chapter 9, verses 28 to 30. The transfiguration of the Lord. This is Alejandro Burgos from El Paso, Texas. References will be taken from the Good News Translation Catholic Bible and also from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. The construction of the Gospel Transfiguration of Jesus in Mark. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain where they were alone. As they look on, a change came over Jesus, and his clothes became shining white, whiter than anyone in the world could wash them. Then the three disciples saw Elijah and Moses talking with Jesus. Peter spoke up and said to Jesus, Teacher, how good is that we are here? We will make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He and the others were so frightened that he did not, they did not uh, know how, what to say. And then a cloud appeared and covered them with its shadow. And a voice came from the cloud, This is my own dear son. Listen to him. He took a quick look around, but did not see anyone else. Only Jesus was with them. As they came down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, Don't tell anybody what you have seen until the Son of Man has risen from the death. They obeyed his order, but among themselves, they started discussing the matter. What does this rising from the death mean? Okay, these are the central characters, facts and items in the gospel. Jesus stuck with him, Peter, James, and John, and led them up to the high mountain where they were alone. Then a change came over Jesus, and his clothes became shining white. The three disciples saw Elijah and Moses talking with Jesus. Peter and the others were so frightened that he, he did not know what to say, but Peter told uh, Jesus that uh, they will make three tents for them. Then a cloud appeared and covered them in with its shadow, and a voice came from the cloud, This is my dear son. Listen to him. But they did not say anyone else, only Jesus was with them. Jesus ordered them, Don't tell anyone what you have seen until the Son of Man has risen from death. They did obey his order, but they didn't understand what does this rising from death mean? This is what the Catechism say about the transfiguration of Jesus. Chapter 554, from the day Peter confessed that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, the Master began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Matthew chapter 16, verse 21. Peter scorns this prediction, nor do the other understand it any better than he. You can see this in Matthew 16, 22, 23, 17, 23, also in Luke, verse, chapter 9, verse 45. Transfiguration takes place in a high mountain before three witnesses chosen by himself, Peter, James, and John. Jesus' face and clothes became dazzling with light, and Moses and Elijah appeared, speaking of his departure, which he was to accomplish at Jerusalem. That's from Luke, chapter 9, verse 31. 
a cloud covered him and a voice from heaven said, this is my son, my chosen, listen to him. According to Luke, verse 9, chapter 9, verse 35. Catechism, paragraph 55. Five, five. For a moment, Jesus discloses his divine glory, confirming Peter's confession. He also reveals that he will have to go by the way of the cross at Jerusalem in order to enter his glory. That's Luke chapter 24, verse 26. Moses and Elijah had seen God's glory in the mountain. The law and the prophets had announced the Messiah's suffering. From Luke chapter 24, verse 27. Christ's passion is the will of the Father. The Son acts as God's servant, according to the prophet Isaiah, chapter 42, verse 1. The cloud indicates the presence of the Holy Spirit. The whole Trinity appear. The Father in the voice, the Son in the man, the Spirit in the shining cloud. According to St. Thomas Aquinas. You were transfigured on the mountain and your disciples, as much as they were capable of it, beheld your glory. O Christ our God, so that when they should see you crucified, they will understand that your passion was voluntary and proclaim to the world that you truly are the splendor of the Father. According to Byzantine liturgy, Feast of the Transfiguration, Contagion. Catechism, verse 556. On the threshold of the public life, the baptism of the threshold of the Passover. The baptism reflects the threshold of the Passover, the transfiguration. Jesus' baptism proclaimed the mystery of the first regeneration, namely our baptism. The transfiguration is the sacrament of the second regeneration our own resurrection, according to St. Thomas Aquinas. From now on, we share in the Lord's resurrection through the Spirit, who acts in the sacrament of the body of Christ. The transfiguration gives us a foretaste of Christ's glorious coming, when he will change our lowly body to be like his glorious body. Letter to the Philippians, chapter 3, verse 21. But it also recalls that it is through many persecutions that uh, we must enter the kingdom of God, according to Acts, chapter 14, verse 22. Peter did not yet understand this when he wanted to remain with Christ on the mountain. It has been reserved for you, Peter, but for after your death, after your death. For now, Jesus say, go down to toil on earth, to serve on earth, to be scorned and crucified on earth. Life goes down to be killed. Bread goes down to suffer hunger. The way goes down to be exhausted on his journey. The spring goes down to suffer thirst. And you refuse, refuse to suffer? A sermon from St. Augustine. In this gospel, we can identify at least six important teachings or reflections. Teaching number one, Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John, and the four of them were the only ones there, according to Mark 9, verse 2. Only two of the first disciples, and also John. Nobody else was there. That is the Lord with the three disciples. Teaching number two. 
Then I changed him over Jesus and his clothes were shining white. For a brief moment, Jesus discloses his divine glory, appeared to his disciples as the complete bright white light of the world. Remember, the white light has the complete spectrum of colors. It has all the colors of the rainbow. The sign, the rainbow, the sign from God. I am the light of the world, say Jesus. Whoever follows me will never walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. According to John, chapter 8, verse 12. Yeah, you have some thoughts for you to read and ponder about the light of the world is Jesus. It's number three. And then the disciples saw Elijah and Moses talking with Jesus. They were so frightened that they did not know what to say. Finally, Peter told Jesus that uh, they would make three tents for them. They didn't understand. Look, we'll make three tents for you guys, you know? It's that's. They ignore totally the, the extraordinary meaning of Jesus' transfiguration and the figures of uh, Elijah and Moses talking with the Lord. You have a beautiful picture of Jesus with Moses and Elijah and the three disciples not knowing what is happening here. And also afraid. Which begs the question, why was Moses there? And why Elijah was there? What were they doing? Moses represents the Torah, the law. The voice of God given to Moses. Moses wrote the five books of the Torah that we know it as the Pentateuch that was revealed to Moses by God at Mount Sinai. You have a picture of the five books of the Torah. And uh, Elijah represents the prophets. He was a prophet loyal to God that defended the Jewish religion against the adoration of worshiping false gods like Baal. Remember that the prophets, God spoke through the prophets to the people of Israel as a false god. Teacher number four. The Father reveals for the second time that Jesus is his own dear son. His divinity as the Messiah. And also, the Father is asking us something from us. Listen to him. He's my son, the Messiah. Listen to him. That's from Luke chapter 9, verse 35. Remember that the first time that the Father revealed the, the divinity of Jesus was during his baptism. Then a cloud appeared and covered them with its shadow, and a voice came from the cloud, this is my own dear son, listen to him. The disciples took a quick look around, but they no longer see Moses and Elijah, only Jesus was with them. Digit number five. The cloud indicates the presence of the Holy Spirit. The whole trinity appeared, the Father in the voice, the Son in the man, Jesus, and the Spirit 
the Holy Spirit in the shining cloud. As a reflection from Thomas of Aquinas about the Holy Trinity present at that very moment in history. Teaching number six. Jesus reveals that he will have to go by the way of the cross at Jerusalem in order to enter his, into his glory. He announced his crucifixion, his death by crucifixion. Moses and Elijah had seen God's glory in the mountain, on the mountain. The law and the prophets had announced the Messiah's suffering, according to Luke chapter 24. Verse 27, was it not necessary for the Messiah to suffer these things and then to enter his glory? That's also from Luke chapter 24, verse 26. Some key concept that you may find useful to remember about this gospel. When Jesus' clothes became shining white, it was the brief moment when Jesus discloses his divine glory. Moses and Elijah were there to represent the voice of the Father in the law and with the prophets. The voice and the will of the Father. The Father revealed Jesus' divinity as the Messiah and asked something from us. Listen to him. We need to listen to Jesus. And do what he says. That's the will of the Father. The cloud indicates the presence of the Holy Spirit also. Jesus reveals that he will have to go by the way of the cross to enter into his glory. The disciples didn't understand. They didn't understand Jesus when he said, don't tell anybody what you have seen until the Son of Man has risen from death. Announcing his resurrection, of course. They couldn't get it. They, it was too soon for them. So let me ask you some uh, review questions. Uh, what was revealed in the Transfiguration? Why Moses and Elijah were there? What is the Father asking us to do? What does the cloud indicate? What did Jesus reveal with his transfiguration? Why? The disciples didn't understand what Jesus told them about the Son of Man. This is the end of uh, the workshop for this Sunday. Uh, see you next Sunday. Please subscribe to this channel. So this mini workshop will be available for you to watch at your own time. And please don't forget, I see you next Sunday.